Once you get to Diesa Plateau, please make sure that you're on the same, the right instance of the map. I'm in the second group by myself. So if you find yourself one of the few people not on my map, please right click my name and join my version. It's the one with the diamond hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diamond sounds way fancier than Dorito. True enough. Now chocolate diamonds that combine special. So, if um, just a quick overview for anyone that maybe hasn't done a guild race before, when I launch the mission, please, um, the guild flag will go down, uh, or the banner will go down where that uh, green guild symbol is. And that will be our cue that we can interact with it. But please don't interact with it until I launch our version of the mission, or you won't get credit. Green boots and boots. What am I looking for? It says... Oh. Gold ref, right. Attack right. Right now, it looks like uh, the guild Roar is doing it, so... When I launch uh, the mission for us, the flag will go down. It may not say CDH, but it'll say on our screen. Hello. It'll say on our screen that um, CDH is the mission. Um, we're going to interact and say yes, sign me up, and we'll be transformed to into devourers. And when we get that transformation, our skills will go away and we'll be replaced with three different skills um, and nothing else. Skill number one is probably the most important, the search skill, which will show you where the um, spike traps are in the ground. You want to have that, um, you want to use that as soon as it's off of cooldown. So if you do control right click, it should automatically search for you when it comes off of cooldown. Um, the number two skill is play dead and it will hopefully get mobs that are trying to attack you off of you. And um, the three skill is a burrow skill, which will let you dig into the ground and hopefully hide you from foes. And then you have to push that again to return to the surface. Anytime you use the three skill, you're going to have to reactivate the one skill by the uh, sh control right click. Also, once we launch the mission, it's uh, helpful to zoom in on your minimap because in addition to avoiding the spike traps and the mobs that are going to try to kill us, we also need to make sure that we hit all the checkpoints in the race and then show up on the map, the minimap as blue flags. And um, you want to make sure you hit all of those because if you've missed one um, and you get to the end of the race, it's really kind of frustrating and disappointing. So. Um, one of the nice things... Oh, go ahead, Fant. No, I was just going to ask, is this one of those that the one person needs to complete it for a story? Correct. Yes. So, the nice thing for me, and personally, because I'm crap at most of these races, I'm enthusiastic but not successful most of the time, is that we just have to have one of our guildies get through the course. Um, so once the first person has gone across, which might be Maze, it might be Dave, there might be a Dark Horse candidate that I don't know about yet. Um, once that first guildie goes across, we'll hang around here for another couple of minutes to give people practice with the course, and I know people sometimes really want to finish it themselves, but we also want to find a balance between getting that practice and getting on to the next uh, mission, because we have about seven or eight missions. Right, um, Any questions before I start the race? I'm just going to grab this arm. Yeah. I'm so short of arm. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for saying that. They're all over the world. Well, please come over to my tag so that we can get started. Yep. I want to be an iron mining magnet. Oh, and then, um, to work to it real quick, if you die in the middle of the course, which I plan to, just go ahead and retry the race, because that'll port you back to the beginning and you can transform again. Um, and then, 
once you finish the race successfully, if you could come back through and start killing mobs so that our fellow guildies have a better shot at reaching it, uh, the end of the course, that would be great. All right, go ahead and interact. E. Well, now let's see if I get my reward. This control right. Hey. Control right click to keep the one skill active as soon as it comes off of cooldown. It doesn't work for me personally, but it works for other people. How? Cheeky, you found that trap. I did. Yeah, no one should follow me because I set traps off. Traps I heard are just that especially made trap for you. <laughs> they make sure you're. What was that? Make sure that you zoomed in on your mini-map so you see where the uh, checkpoints are. Ah. They also help you uh, take the right turn where there's a fork in the road and you're not sure which way to go. You can also, do you can also dodge. That's true. Dodging is very important. Oh. Please do that. Yeah, I'm not a very good dodger. <laughs> not art pull. Not art pull at all. No. Oh, darn it, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. Hello. Poof. Hello, oh. Come to DSA. Get in touch with your inner devourer. Welcome, welcome. Bye bye. Kidoki. I mean, if you want to. Or just start it and then just kind of wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait for somebody else to finish the and get credit. The yep. race. Yay! Oh, one for me. <laughs> nice. I got through. Yay! Yay! Good job, Fant. I only hit two taps. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How you doing, Maze? Think so. I see how Enrique is doing. Poor Enrique. Ow, and then I died. Yeah, I shouldn't be mocking people. I run right into traps. Oops. That was karma. Well, oh, man. There's nothing left to kill. What? There's one oh, back here. Yeah. That's disappointing for you, Dave. <laughs> so, to get credit, you do have to have transformed into a burrow or at least once. What you doing way back here, Maze? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <See the crow. laughs> oh. these oozes and see if they're willing to give it up. Yay! Did everybody, Quite a reward. if anyone did not get their reward chest, which would be on the main map, please put up a one in squad chat. Hey, I got it this way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yay! Well, I'm happy to hear that. So, if you got your reward chest, and you either finish the race, or you do not care to finish the race, could you please go back to the guild hall? And that way we'll know which people would like another couple minutes to try to get through before we head off to our next adventure.